Hello and uh, welcome to another video from General Bytes. My name is Karl Kioski and today I'll show you how to set up a Litecoin wallet uh, on your Bitcoin ATM server so your ATM scans uh, dispense to customers Litecoin. Okay, so if you remember from previous video uh, called BATM2 configuration, we configured Bitcoin for the for the ATM. Here you can see that uh, this ATM has only crypto settings Bitcoin. Uh, we will add here a uh, Litecoin. So let's go to the crypto settings. And we see here the crypto settings from before. It's called uh, BTC. So let's create one, the new one for the Litecoin. We will call it LTC for example. The cryptocurrency, this will be LTC. Uh, the cash currency, because my machine is in check crowns, I'll put the uh, check crowns here. The minimum amount of the transaction uh, can be just one dollar because the because um, Litecoin has very small mining fee. But uh, I'm in Czech Republic, so I'll put the uh, check uh, hundred crowns banknote, which is the smallest banknote. Okay, rate source will be, let's take price from Bitstamp, from the USD LTC market, so USD, we will choose hotwalletblock.io, which, uh, which, which uh, I showed you in previous video how to create it, so let's go to block.io wallet, uh, we see here bit in Bitcoin we have some balance. Dogecoin we won't use in Litecoin. We still have we don't have balance here, so let's send there some Litecoins. Okay, transaction sent. So Litecoins should be on the way to our wallet. Let's connect the wallet uh, with the server. So we need API key, pin, and priority. Uh, API key. API key we can see here. Show API keys. We copy the Litecoin, the one for Litecoin. Copy. Okay. We will paste it here. Okay. Now, semicolon. Now, pin. Remember that the pin is something else than the password when you lo want to log in into the wallet. So one two three one two three one two three. That's our very secret pin. Semicolon and the priority. Priority I'll put low. Okay. Bitcoin exchange we don't uh, need now, so let's leave it as is. Profit for Litecoin we can set up different profit for Litecoin and Bitcoin, but uh, we will put here five percent. Okay, submit. Let's wait uh, until it gets saved. Okay, Litecoin is here. Let's uh, test uh, the Litecoin settings. Hot wallet buy. Yes. Oh, okay, now it's working. I didn't change anything, uh, just. Uh, it just didn't work for some reason anyway okay so that that we have let's take a look uh, if you receive some of the coins okay so pull bit a half a bitcoin is on the way from my from my wallet in the phone okay so we need how many how many Confirmations, five confirmations we need. Let's check here. It's very confusing, this three on very beginning. Most of the wallets now, they they have uh, M for for Litecoin, the capital M. Okay, so, so far we have one confirmation. That's, uh, that's not much, uh, to be honest. 
uh, the Litecoin has a new block every I believe 2.5 minutes okay so let's let's wait until we get the balance and uh, meanwhile meanwhile we, t we can check uh, the terminal in order in order uh, to reflect the changes on the terminal we have to first set them here okay so we want to add another cryptocurrency which will be litecoin on our machine and here we will choose the LTC crypto configuration crypto settings and we will save that okay also sometimes I recommend customers to to disconnect and connect the machine from a server to reflect the change because every time the machine reconnects to the server it downloads the configuration but we can see on the machine already that uh, the Litecoin price is displayed there so let's try to buy some bitcoins it's gonna fail because we, we don't have the, this wallet doesn't have the coins confirmed yet right because we have still just one one confirmation okay now we have two confirmations but uh, but in order to get that into balance we need five but uh, anyway let's let's try to do a transaction let's see how the failed transaction looks like uh, I can show you how, uh, I can show you how it looks when it fails and how you debug uh, what happened Okay, so we move to the machine. Let's click on screen, and now we have buy bitcoins and buy altcoins. We click on buy altcoins, and we can see here Bitcoin and Litecoin and the price below. Uh, Bitcoin is not altcoin, but uh, sometimes customers they don't know, so you offer them offer them both of the options with so they don't have to go back and then they cho then choose the Bitcoin. So we click here on Litecoin. We click on less than 100. That's the KYC ML which we set up, set it up already on the in the previous videos. And uh, I'll present the Litecoin address. I believe it's Litecoin. Yes, it is Litecoin address. Let's scan it. So LN. Oh, this is very strange address, but. Uh, L N J J T J C etc. Now let's insert the banknote. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, so I inserted hundred check rounds. I'm gonna get uh, that much uh, Litecoin, and I can click on buy altcoins. So now it goes to the server, and server talk to the. Uh, Bitcoin, uh, oh sorry, Litecoin wallet, the block I wallet, and it failed. And let's click done. So here you can see the details, transaction ID, and here here's the phone number which you set up in the custom strings. Okay, done. Let's go on server and let's uh, let's wait for transact uh, for the Litecoin transactions to get. Um, five confirmations and then we can uh, uh, try again mm -hmm. let's see how many confirmations we have here okay we have only three confirmations so what what can I show meanwhile? Let's let's see the details of the transaction of the failed transaction. You can click here. Buy transactions. We can see that uh, here was an error. Error sending from wallet. And this is uh, the address which we scanned. Okay. And this is the remote transaction ID to which the customer uh, refers. And uh, here is here is the support form which you which you saw on the screen. Uh, 
in the crypto settings we can check uh, or maybe the, the fastest way how to get to crypto settings and I use that a lot is here here you open it in a new tab uh, so we can see that we will not be purchasing uh, Litecoins uh, we will be sending them uh, directly from Hot Wallet so this is so called American model in US you should own the coins before you send them to the customer so that's how most of the Bitcoin ATM operators use this the exchange uh, the exchange uh, I can recommend you is the Bitstamp I will be covering this in different video uh, so when, when we will be we will be covering the Bitstamp exchange as a one video and we will cover there how to set up uh, uh, Bitcoin the Litecoin setup is completely the same we just uh, uh, you, you even fill in the same parameters here so so if you want to use the exchange for example you want to buy on exchange and send it directly from exchange because you you don't like to risk uh, uh, on uh, litecoin you are enough if you risk uh, on on bitcoin so you want to probably you go with the option number one which is purchase coins on exchange or the altcoins right in, in case of litecoin and send them to the customer directly from the exchange so that's uh, that's how i prefer to run the atm okay so let's let's see how many confirmations we have now okay so now we have six plus confirmations which is considered secure at least uh, by block cipher and block.io is now having 0.5 balance let's uh, try let's try this configuration ah oh, sorry this is the WTC let's let's see this one run test test hot wallet buy yes and you can see we, we have balance 0 0.5 so let's try another transaction uh. Buy altcoins, litecoin, below 100 check rounds. Okay, this is uh, our very same address. Let's insert the bank now. 100 check rounds, this much in litecoin. I will click here on buy altcoins. Okay, and transaction went fine. Okay, and uh, let's see how it how it's displayed here. Uh, here you can always click on this shortcut on this T, and you see that the transaction completed fine. You can click here, and we can see that it's. Uh, it is not yet uh, not yet confirmed. Uh, let's see the Litecoin. Yeah, so this is the fee. This is the minimum fee right now. And that's uh, that's it. So, congratulations. Uh, we made uh, our first uh, Litecoin transaction.